No, I don't know much about it. Uh, weather modification history, I do not. I mean, I've read up on it and things of that nature, but no. Mm -mm. I have to do some more research into that, more reading up on it. I'm not sure about this area, um, the cloud seeding. Um, I know sometimes, or at least have read that they, they will do that out in um, the plains to create the clouds. They'll put little particulate in the air um, for, the, for the clouds to start to develop and that will help the rain chances go up a little bit. But I'm not sure around here. And to answer uh, the weather modification history question, um, we don't do cloud seeding in this area. Do they do cloud seeding where you are? And for those who may not know, a lot of times in the Great Plains they do something called cloud seeding, or it's been known to be done where um, a plane will fly and they, or they'll even like shoot stuff up in the atmosphere. Um, but essentially you drop particulates in the atmosphere because the way that raindrops or hailstones form is that they um, are produced around a nuclei. And so um, around a raindrop, for example, if there's particulates in a cloud, the, the droplets of rain will coalesce. It's a fancy word around that particulate. And a hailstone needs a nuclei. It needs something for um, the hailstone to start from. And so the thought with cloud seeding is that maybe it would prevent larger hailstones. So especially in parts of Texas and things like that where there's like a lot of car lots or lots of inventory and there's lots of people, um, hailstones can get pretty big out there. So the idea with cloud seeding is that if we put things in clouds, um, we would have, we may have more hailstones, but we have smaller ones versus having these really ginormous ones. Um, and so there's some, there's some thought that cloud seeding could um, could impact the weather, but we do not do cloud seeding here in Alabama. What are your thoughts on current research programs used to influence the weather, Cody? That's a, oh, wow. that's that's, a very yeah, um, that's deep actually question. A, that is a very deep question, yeah. Um, I think that there's some very good research programs out there. Um, I definitely highly recommend anybody out there, and I don't know if this is what you're actually um, insinuating by research, but... Um, <laughs> Got some theories. <laughs> yeah, but um, there are some very good programs out there, um, especially close by, like uh, Oklahoma University, uh, where... Um, I mean, they have an amazing program. I think that actually a lot of their classes are actually in the National Weather Center. Uh, it's a great place to do research. I think that you even get to, um, some people actually get to use uh, what's called like a phased array radar, I think. It's uh, really high tech and stuff. We, even we don't have access to that. So uh, there's definitely a lot of good research opportunities for people out there. You just gotta find them. Um, yeah. And then it said something about uh, programs used to influence the weather. Um, I'm not sure if they're actually you talking can't about the weather? models. Yeah, I know. Yeah, Cody. I wish I could, right? <laughs> Seriously. Yeah, we need to get that program. Whatever <laughs> yeah, that I know. software is, let's get that. If I could control it, though, it'd be much cooler in Texas. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> maybe, not, maybe just a little bit. I mean, I, I like our Texas heat sometimes. Mm. So, uh, let's see here. Weather modification history says, hey, Damon, do they cloud seed in the area to increase precipitation ever? Um, they have attempted it down in Lawton. Um, they have attempted it. No, I'm sorry. They were going to attempt it. I remember the story. They were going to attempt the cloud seed down in Lawton. This was back in 2012. And they were set up for a two-week stretch. Well, during that two weeks, the cloud seeding plane could never take off because there were storms in the area. And it ended up raining like five inches during that and pretty much said, well, this program wasn't needed because we ended up getting rain on its own. So, uh, so they were ready to try it, but they did not do it. So, hey, Gino, what are your thoughts with the current research programs used to influence weather, uh, specifically cloud seeding uh, generators in Quebec? Uh, that is from weather modification history. Let's see. Um, from well, that's probably a Facebook page. But if you have a, a name there, uh, I'd be more than happy to answer your question. But, I mean, there's been some research in regards to cloud seeding itself. 
and that's you know in, in areas that are uh, for example under a drought adding some like aerosols because keep in mind you probably folks don't even know this if the air was completely crystal clean like it was no particles nothing no dust nothing at all just pure air we would not have any clouds or any weather because the raindrops the the water vapor in order for it to develop into like water you know droplets of rain turn into clouds and all that formation it needs a host and that host is some type of dust or aerosols uh pollen something for that moisture to grab onto so something you didn't know so there's been some type of this like cloud seeding uh research done it's been a while since i've looked at it a couple of years but i know they've kind of played uh not just here in the united states but like in other parts like uh western sahara and like areas that are more susceptible to drought and they're seeing if there's ways that they can tap into the moisture that's available in the atmosphere to develop those clouds and also some showers and uh some you know get some beneficial rainfall so interesting um i don't know what exactly they're doing in canada so i will uh have to find out uh, or if you have a link to something i can take a look and read it in 1965, over 60 Quebec women protested rainmaking companies to stop making rain with generators. It was published in multiple newspapers during that time. That is interesting. And uh, any time. And weather modification history says, Hey John, do they cloud seed in the area to increase precipitation? I don't think they do out here. At least I've never heard of that. That actually might be a good question for me to research. I honestly don't know. Maybe she's watching this morning. I don't think they actually do practice cloud seeding in Medford. I feel like cloud seeding usually... Wait, who is this? I don't know. Weather modification history. Yeah, I don't know. Who is this? I don't know. Weather modification history. Yeah, I don't know. But I feel like cloud seeding, seeding usually is used around airports. The trees here in the grass, greener from 24 hours ago. It's pretty nice, it's amazing. I'm, even as a meteorologist, I still get amazed how a little bit of rain just changes the surrounding everywhere. It's absolutely stuff. And a weather modification history is asking me a thought I'm on current research and how to use the uh, wet, influence the weather. There's a lot of theories out there. Um, if you want to ask me that question, uh, just send me an email because it will give me an idea of what exact uh, theory you're talking about, what research you're talking about. Because, I mean, influencing weather goes back years. It cloud seeding something from the 50s, for example. Um, a lot of debate on if it's a good technique or not. A lot of other countries do it, not ours. So, yeah. Yeah, just send me a message. Robert Spetta, meteorologist. You can find me on Facebook or Twitter. Let me talk about it. Wait, who is this? I don't know. Weather modification history. Yeah, I don't know.